Welcome back to Simply Women's Health with CJ. Today we're going to talk about painful menstrual cycles. The medical word for painful menstrual cycle is dysmenorrhea. Here's a thing about dysmenorrhea. Approximately 50 to 60% of menstruating females will, will report some level of pain during their menstrual cycles. It can be anywhere from mild all the way up to severe. So bad that you can't go to work, you can't go to school, you have nausea, vomiting, you can't get out of bed for more than a couple of days out of your menstrual cycles. So it is a big deal, and it's a reason that a lot of patients come to the clinic to be seen. So there's two different kinds of dysmenorrhea. The first one is called primary. Primary dysmenorrhea typically starts right after your menstrual cycle starts, so early on in menstruation. And it will go away usually within a couple of days of your cycle starting. It is caused by a chemical called prostaglandin that's in your uterus that causes your uterus to cramp. We don't know why, but for some reason, some women have more prostaglandins than others. The other kind of dysmenorrhea is secondary dysmenorrhea, and that is caused by a known uh, reproductive problem, such as fibroids, it can be caused by endometriosis, it can be caused by pelvic, in pelvic inflammatory disease. So who's at risk if you started having menstrual cycles before the age of 12? Women who are less than the age of 20 tend to have more painful menstrual cycles than women who are a little bit older. If somebody in your family, mom, sister, had painful menstrual cycles, statistically, you're probably gonna have painful menstrual cycles as well. What are the symptoms? Painful menstrual cycles. You may have pressure in your lower abdomen. You may have lower back pain. You may even get nausea, vomiting, headaches, anything, it, you may just feel fatigue. So what can you do about it? Some of the natural re, uh, remedies that I will recommend, first and foremost, heat. Your uterus is a muscle. Heat will help to relax that muscle. Aerobic exercise. When you do exercise, uh, swimming, biking, jogging, walking, you increase endorphins, and endorphins are a natural pain reliever. Relaxation techniques, yoga, meditation. You can try to avoid caffeine, alcohol, tobacco. Those products actually increase cramping during your menstrual cycle. Some people do really well with acupressure, acupuncture. These are all things that I know that patients have used and reported good results with. Now, if none of that is working, make an appointment to be seen by your provider. When you go in, your provider is going to want to get a good thorough history. When did you start having pain? How long does your pain last during your menstrual cycles? Do you, what do you do to make things better? Does that work for you? They may want to do a pelvic exam. Now, if you've never had intercourse before, they will not do a speculum exam, and they probably won't do anything down there. Um, if you are at risk for sexually transmitted diseases, they may check you for some infections. They may or may not order a pelvic ultrasound, depending on what their concern is for the reason for your painful cycles. First line of defense is typically going to be medications, and those can be um, products that uh, lower the number of prostaglandins in your uterus with ibuprofen, naproxen, uh, some people respond to Tylenol. If those don't work for you, you can always use birth control pills, or the ring, the patch, any of those will make your periods shorter and lighter, and for a lot of patients, they report less cramping. If you are really trying to not get pregnant, an intrauterine device that contains hormones such as the Mirena or Kylena, that too can make your periods much shorter, lighter, or, or even non-existent. For some patients, that is the answer. If none of that works, there are some stronger medications that your provider can recommend, but I do recommend you talk to them. Now, if nothing works, your provider may recommend that they do exploratory surgery with what's called a laparoscopy, 
take you to the operating room, put you to sleep, make an incision in your belly button, go down with a camera and look around in your pelvic area. Or they may recommend that they go up into your uterus with the camera and look around to see if they can find the reason for all of your pain. Bottom line, if you are having pain during your menstrual cycle, please seek help. Hi, if you're still here, thanks so much for sticking around to the entire video. If you feel as though this information has been helpful to you, or you think you know somebody that might benefit from the uh, information provided in these videos, please feel free to like it, share it, uh, and if you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you did that. Any and all support that you can provide is so greatly appreciated. As always, these videos were not created uh, as a as a replacement for a visit, a visit with your healthcare provider, rather as a place for you to come for basic, reliable information that is non-biased and hopefully allow you to figure out what questions to ask your healthcare provider at your next visit to best meet your healthcare needs. Again, I appreciate all of your support. If you want to contact me, my information is at the top of this screen, and I will put it in the comment section of this video. That's all I have for today. This is CJ. I'm at your cervix.